April 15, 1997, the Mets and all of Major League Baseball honor the 50th anniversary of the man who forever changed the face of baseball, Jackie Robinson. It was very inspirational to see Rachel Robinson, the president and the commissioner of baseball. Anytime you can get a game to stop during the game for a special occasion, which was Jackie Robinson. Those players who currently wear 42, including those like Butch Husky of the Mets, who wear the number in tribute to Jackie, may continue to wear the number for the remainder of their careers. However, number 42 from this day forward will never again be issued by a major league club. He opened the doors to quite a few players, African-American players, that made us want to play baseball even more. And, you know, it was, it's an honor, it was a tribute to wear number 42. Following that night, Husky was one of only three players in baseball to wear Robinson's number 42. To me personally, it just showed that if there's a will, there's a way. And everything that he went through just to have other players have an opportunity to play the game, it's a, it was a challenge and an honor in itself. The first baseman, Ike Davis. On April 19th, the Mets called Ike Davis up from AAA Buffalo, and he had an immediate impact on the big league club. The rookie first baseman occupied the sixth spot in the lineup in his debut as he collected his first two major league hits as well as his first RBI. You don't even know, you know, you can't feel anything, you're just nervous, you're just kind of not there, but you're just on such a high. It was incredible. And, uh, you know, it was a dream come true. I've waited my whole life, you know, to do this and uh, couldn't be happier. The Mets, who were 4-8 and eight at the time, went on to defeat the Cubs that night and went on to finish the 10-game homestand 9-1. And the ball game is over. The Mets finish off a 9-1 and one homestand to match their best homestand of seven or more games ever. Ike finished the first half of the season with a 258 batting average to go along with 11 home runs. Despite some growing pains that accompany many rookie position players, Davis is among the leaders of his rookie class in both home runs and RBIs. But he'll be the first to tell you that he still has some work to do. You know, I definitely put a lot of pressure on myself. And I think, you know, because I'm really competitive, so I have to. And it's the way I play. And, and it could be bad, it could be good, but it, it keeps me you know, wanting to get better. I think Ike tends to beat himself up a little bit. You know, I think what you need to do at this level is you have to be resilient. Uh, you have to put the at-bats, the bad at-bats behind you, the mistakes you make in the field, you have to put those behind you. And I know Ike takes it tough because that's who he is. I mean, he's a perfectionist and he wouldn't be in the major leagues at 23 uh, if he didn't take things that way. I didn't want to set any goals for the first year. It's kind of something I've always done. Uh, with my first experience in a different level or a different league. I, I think you just got to go that first year and just play openly, you know, with nothing really on your mind. And then uh, when you have a break to look back and reflect on what you just did or what you need to work on. And Davis hits it to deep right field. That ball is out of here. Mike Davis with a home run to win it for New York. A no-doubter for Mike Davis, and the Mets win it 2-1 to one in 11. In his first season at the major league level, Ike Davis has become a fan favorite. He even batted in the cleanup spot for a good portion of the season, but the rookie is determined to learn from his first year in the bigs. So every year it's going to be a battle. Defense is, you know, repetition and, and you got to keep doing that. But offensively, you know, I think I've, you know, somewhat found something this year and, and uh, I'm getting better at it. So I'd like to see what I've kind of changed in the, in the last month and put it into a whole year and see what happens. He's going to drive in a lot of runs as he gets more familiar with the pitchers in this league, and he's going to save a lot of runs because he is an outstanding defensive first baseman. As far as like you know what I expected the big leagues was like, or you know, reaching my 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 dream, it, it, it couldn't ask for more. Coming up on Mets Weekly, presented by Flat Rate Moving. David Wright and Mike Palfrey visit a very special firehouse near Ground Zero. I've been fortunate. I've got a chance to do this a handful of times now, and you know each visit is, is extremely special. Plus, what do the Mets think of New York? If you can 
do it here, you can do it anywhere, so the song says. Well, find out what some of their favorite things are about the Big Apple when we come back.